I was exposed to porn at an early age, but have been porn free for months now. I am still dealing with lust, though it's making a genuine connection with women that's difficult. Do you have any tips on overcoming lust? Here's the thing with your connections with women, you gotta think about what your intention is ultimately. And if you're committed to living a holy life and not fornicating, then sex is out of the question. And that way, when you do talk with these women, you are free from need. You ever notice that you could talk to an ugly girl like you guys are best friends and you're witty and you're fun. You might even like, you might even be a little flirtatious, but you know that you don't want to have sex with her. Or you have like a girl, like a girlfriend, like you have no intention, like you would never, you're not really attracted to her, but you have great connection with her. That's because you don't want anything from her and you don't think you're going to get anything from her, especially in terms of sex. If you're dealing with a woman and the first thing to come to your mind is like, how and when am I going to have sex with this woman? You're going to deal with lust because now you're, it's like Pavlov's dog. Your mouth is watering because somebody rang the bell. You, and when you, the bell ringing is like, hey, you're going to get some food. So if you're committed to weaponized chastity and you're saving yourself for marriage, then it should have no problem. Because now you're looking at women for what they can really give you. Men actually give sex. Women receive sex. I know that it seems strange that they're the gateway, but we are the givers of sex. So... You got to look at these women at what they're going to give me, but not sex. You're the giver of sex. What is she going to give you? Is she going to follow your lead? Is she going to cook for you? Is she going to make a good wife? Is she going to make a good mother? Is she going to keep a good home? Is she clean? Is she respectful? Is she sober minded? Is she uh, mannerly? And uh, this is going to sound crazy too, man. Stop putting emphasis on dick feelings, meaning... You can make your boner go away by not pushing into your boner, letting your boner be. Just the same way that you can control like any muscle in your body, control your dick. If you have a boner and it's not going to serve you, make your boner go away. It's a way to deaden or pull energy away, pull sensation away from your penis. These guys that talk about sexual transmutation and, you know, Montauk Chia and you know, like all this Taoist sex stuff. It's not that mystical. It basically means conscious control. That's all it is. Bring the boner back inside. Bring the blood back inside. And once you bring that hot blood back inside your body, you could call it chi, you could call it, you know, orgone, bioenergy, you call it whatever you want. But the bottom line is it's dick blood coming back in your body and it's gonna fuel you with energy, big dick energy. Bring that big dick energy back up into your body by breathing it back in. You know when you have a boner and you do the, you press into it and you move your bone? Don't do that, keep it still. And if it moves, then okay, let it be. See how long, I get a timer. Okay, how long can I keep until it moves again? And then you, know, then you start realizing I'm conscious over this. I have conscious control over this. Go 30 seconds this time. Go a minute this time. By the time a minute, two minutes passes and you haven't, done a dick jerk, haven't done a dick move, the dick energy goes away and it comes back into your body. Gain total self-mastery and control over your drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone forever. Yo, it's your bro Elliot Hulse here, and if you're seeing this ad, it's because I want to help you. If you're a married man who owns a business but struggle to overcome those late night vices that you're trying to hide from the world, including your wife, clients, and colleagues, whether it's drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone, all these vices that you're trying to hide, you know they're killing you on the inside. Plus, crippling your business and failing your family. If you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, then click the link in this YouTube ad. Because for the first time in my 17 years on YouTube, I have a program that not only makes men strong, but has the power to fix families, repair businesses, and restore faith in a world gone wild. But it all starts with men like you who are ready to take action. Now, I don't have enough time to explain how it works here in this short clip, which is why I put together a four-minute video for you to watch on exactly how it works. So click the link here, watch the video now. It's completely free. And if you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, and be the man that you're called to be, I'll see you on the inside. Done.